Hi, this is Vessel from OnYourWeather.com and in this video we're discussing how to predict the weather but without the weather station, a weather forecast or even a weather app. Uh, like usual, if you can't get what you want exactly from this video, I'm leaving a link to the video in the description below this video. So if you need some additional information, you can always go and read the full article. Just follow the link in the description below. Okay, so let's create a fictional scenario. Uh, you need to know what the weather is going to be outside within the next 3-4 hours. But you have no TV reception, no cable, no internet, so you can't access your regular weather forecast, your weather app, whatsoever. So what to do now? How are you going to be able to tell what the weather is going to be like? Actually, by taking a look at your atmospheric conditions, your surroundings, nature, birds, even insects, and use your senses, you are able to make a pretty good uh, prediction of what the weather is going to be like within the coming hours. Um, in this video, I'm going to highlight around nine um, ways you can use to make a fairly accurate prediction. Um, it's not going to be as accurate as a weather forecast, professional weather forecast, and it's also not going to be able to forecast weather over a long period of time, say for instance over 12, 24 hours periods, but in the next 2-3 hours if you need to know what the weather is going to be like, just take a look at these 9 ways um, of using your senses, nature, insects, um, looking, at, uh, looking at them, observing them, and by judging by the way they behave, um, able to make a pretty good forecast. So let's take a look at these nine different ways of uh, creating your own weather forecast. So nine ways to predict the weather without the weather forecast will be cloud color, cloud height, cloud type, humidity, vegetation changes, smell, wind, animal behavior and insect behavior. I know technically insect behavior might fall under animal behavior, but for the sake of this video, let's just keep them separate. Uh, this is by no means an exhaustive list, but these nine uh, ways have been proven to be fairly accurate, so let's just uh, stick with them for now. Okay, so there is your list of nine ways of predicting the way the weather is going to react like of making your own personal weather prediction. Um, now we can start going through them one by one starting with the color of the clouds. Most of us have already observed light colored and dark colored clouds. From a light colored uh, cirrus to fair weather cumulus clouds with a fluffy white appearance to your more ominous looking cumulonimbus or nimbostratus clouds with their dark almost black bases. Now this is a typical result of your the number of raindrops or micro droplets that are present within a cloud system. If there's not a lot of droplets present, light can pass fairly through the, fairly easy through it and that gives it its distinctive light color. However, when a lot of moisture moisture is present in the clouds, light gets absorbed. So hence the darker grayish almost blackish color, sometimes a blue gray color to it. That gives you a good indication of the kind of weather you can expect. So lighter the color, less raindrops present in the cloud, so you can expect fair weather or light rate if there's any rain whatsoever. However, if the cloud is pretty dark and ominous looking, you can be pretty sure that there's a lot of moisture present within that cloud, so stormy rainy weather is a good possibility. And that is how cloud cover might help you to make a better prediction. But it's not just the color of clouds, but also the height or the altitude of clouds that will help you make a better prediction. When you look at cloud height, there are two different heights you should take into consideration. The one being the height of the base of the cloud, and the second one being the vertical extent or vertical buildup of a cloud. If you look, look at the cloud base, uh, your clouds with high bases, in other words, the base of the clouds are situated fairly high in the atmosphere, like cirrus clouds and fair weather cumulus clouds. Uh, you can generally expect fair weather and not a lot of rain associated with those clouds. However, when you look at a cloud system like a cumulonimbus cloud with a very low cloud base, the chances of rain and stormy weather is pretty good. Now, when it comes to vertical extent or the vertical buildup of clouds, uh, the same principle applies. The 
higher or the bigger the build up or the more body vertical body your cloud has uh, the bigger the chances of rainy or stormy weather um, is uh, on its way uh, for instance your cirrus and cirrus stratus clouds are all high level clouds but they're also very thin they don't have a lot of body to them so they carry very little moisture very little updrafts low drafts wind activity within them so you really can't expect a lot of rain and mostly fair weather um, that's associated with these uh, cloud systems however again looking at the cumulonimbus cloud they start with a very low cloud base but they have a very big vertical build up almost all the way to the stratosphere with lots of updrafts downdrafts um, and a lot of stormy weather gets associated with this type of cloud system so your vertical cloud build up is also a good indicator of the kind of weather you can expect so that's the color of the clouds the height of the clouds but very important thing to if you have that knowledge is to use your knowledge of the type of cloud that will help you make a much better forecast for instance if you know what a nimbus stratus cloud is what it looks like and a cumulonimbus clouds you know those type of cloud systems are associated with stormy wet rainy conditions Similarly, when you look at um, altistratus or cumulus clouds, not fair weather cumulus clouds, but normal, your normal sort of heavy cumulus clouds, you know that you can expect a fair amount of rain, but it's a little bit more consistent. But then when you also look at your high level clouds, like cirrus clouds, your different cirrus types of clouds that mostly contain ice crystals, you know these are fair weather clouds and you can expect fair weather and no rain are associated with them. So knowing the different types of clouds is going to be a big help in predicting um, the weather for well the next couple of hours at least and now we're moving on to atmospheric conditions specifically humidity um, as i've discussed in other videos humidity is, is a great indicator of not just current but upcoming weather events or changes in atmospheric conditions an increase in humidity is a clear giveaway or a telltale sign that rainy weather is on its way um, it's hard to explain but you know that damp feeling you get in the air when a lot of moisture is present in the atmosphere um, you also experience it when your skin starts feeling damp and a little bit sweaty that's all evidence that more moisture uh, or the buildup of moisture moisture is present in the atmosphere also um, if you look at your hair your hair which is normally well behaved all of a sudden it starts getting a bit frizzy that's also another indication that there's a buildup of humidity in the air so all those factors combined also gives you a good indication that stormy weather or at least a type of rainy weather might be on the way another great way of looking at changes in atmospheric conditions or weather changes is by looking at uh, changes in vegetation specifically plant and tree life so by observing for instance trees and different types of plants uh, you will also be able to gauge future um, weather events for instance if you look at pine trees the cones of pine trees can sense a change in humidity so if an increase in humidity they close up to protect the seeds from damage however during fair weather they open up uh, to enable the seeds to be released similarly if you look at the leaves of maple trees as soon as they sense a change in humidity or a buildup of humidity you can see, actually see the leaves of the tree starts curling similarly certain woods start to swell up in the presence of humidity now all these changes and different behaviors are good indicators of upcoming weather events or changes in weather which brings us to our own personal senses specifically smell you'd be surprised how much what we smell can tell us about what the weather is going to be like and changes in atmospheric conditions the first one being the typical rain smell now what you're smelling is ozone and ozone typically precedes or is what you smell during a rain event the second one being what is called a compost smell now these are just the gases or the waste that plants release in the presence of an upcoming storm event the last one being swamp gases if you live close to a swamp, um, you, might have, you might be used to swamp gases, but during a low-pressure system that allows uh, these gases to rise and blow towards you, 
obviously this uh, smell will be a lot more pungent and more uh, overpowering and that also an, is another clear indication of some rainy weather on its way. And we are moving back to atmospheric conditions. Uh, this time we're looking at wind. Wind has always been a big driver of weather changes. So by observing wind, its strength, the direction, that will tell us a lot about upcoming weather events and changes in weather. When wind suddenly starts to pick up or dies down, um, you can be sure that changes in weather is on its way. Also wind direction. Uh, changes in wind direction itself might also indicate changes in weather. However, depending on your location and where you are situated, your wind direction, different wind directions might indicate different types of weather approaching. So in this case, you should actually be familiar with the type of wind and the type of weather that comes with that specific wind. Okay, so now we're moving to the animal kingdom. You'd be surprised how much animals, both uh, domesticated and wild animals, uh, their behavior, their senses can tell us about the uh, future weather events. A lot of animals' uh, senses are much more developed and much more sensitive than ours. So observing animal behavior is another good way of uh, seeing whether the weather is going to change and in which way it will change. For instance, if you observe bird behavior, if a normal chirpy swarm of birds suddenly go quiet, uh, they might go into hiding or they might flee because their senses pick up changes in atmospheric pressure or humidity which might indicate rainy or stormy weather approaching and they've sensed it way before we could. Similarly when you look at livestock, for instance uh, cows or sheep when they are in a camp and they start herding, herding together they might sense some stormy weather on the way and that's a way for them to protect themselves. But it's not just animals, but even insects, specifically insects actually, that if you observe their behavior fairly closely, um, that will give you a very good indication of maybe some dramatic changes in weather. So pay close attention to these little creatures. Like animals, insects are also a lot more sensitive to atmospheric changes to help them prepare for um, changes in weather conditions. Uh, just have a look at ant invasions uh, in homes. When thousands of ants all of a sudden invade your home, they're all over the furniture, dining room table, you can be pretty sure that rainy weather is on its way. Um, when you look at crickets as well, we all know the noise of uh, chirping crickets on a warm summer night, but they are cold-blooded creatures. In other words, the warmer it gets, um, the quicker or the faster the metabolism gets. In other words, they are able to make more noise and they sense uh, these changes in temperature long before we can and if you listen to crickets and they become all of a sudden a little bit more chirpy, a little bit more noisy, you can be sure that temperatures are busy rising. And these are nine ways of predicting the weather without the help of any weather forecast or weather app, online weather application. And uh, it's uh, pretty accurate as you will find out for yourself. Give it a try and see how it works for you. Obviously, if you are in an urban environment like a city, uh, you can still make use of these methods by simply looking outside your window or just picking your head outside and feeling and seeing what the, what the weather and the different weather, weather elements are doing. You'll still be able to make use of at least the vast majority um, of these different variables. Uh, they are by no means the only ways of judging the weather or atmospheric conditions, but these are pretty proven methods um, and they work very well. Needless to say, they're not going to be able to completely, um, uh, how would I say, get rid of a weather forecast or your weather app or online weather predictions. They are limited, so they're not necessarily as accurate and they definitely can't forecast that long into the future. They're pretty much limited to a couple of hours. So if you're looking to see what the weather's going to be like in 24 hours, this is not going to work. Never mind the five or seven day weather forecast. For that, you need the weather service. The weather station won't even um, help you out there. And uh, I think that's about it. If you like this kind of video, uh, give me a like. Helps me a lot. Also, if you'd like to receive future videos uh, explaining different weather phenomena, weather, weather patterns, how they work, what the characteristics are, what they form, 
Remember to hit the subscribe button as well as the little notification button next to it and you'll be reminded as soon as another video gets released. Also, like I said in the beginning of the video, if you like some more information or something in this video has been unclear, you can read the full article by following the link in the description below this video and you'll get all the detailed information. So I hope you've enjoyed this. Uh, give it a try, see how it works for you and uh, enjoy. Until next time, keep your eye on the weather. Cheers.